Hi guys, this is Sunset Mushy, and this is a pick a card reading on love messages from your spirit guides. Uh, this is inspired because it's Pisces season, and I feel like uh, during this season it's a really good time for all of us to be going within, meditating, reflecting a lot, allowing whatever thoughts to come and go, and to move forward. So if you guys would like to pick based off of one of these crystals, I'm actually going to choose like this. So there's just going to be three readings, and reading number one is over here, the moonstone and this bloodstone. Reading number two is this rose quartz and this yellow aventurine. And reading number three is this blue gold stone as well as this green aventurine. So if you're drawn to one or multiple messages, uh, feel free to listen to them and you can go to the timestamps in the description box below to get your message or messages. Um, and yeah, those, that's it. So hopefully you guys click the timestamps. Thank you all for being here. Um, if any of you would like to reach out for a personal reading, you can check the description below for my prices and how to reach out and send payment and everything to get situated with that. And all that being said, we are going to get started with reading number one. All right, so love messages from spirit, from your spirit guides. Whoa. So we've got the Eight of Wands. Your love message is to keep working on whatever you are doing right now, literally. Um, it looks like you've been building a lot for your life, just kind of setting everything up. You've been taking many steps to achieve your own goals and this will benefit you greatly when it comes to love so i'm kind of getting already that the message is like now is really a time to be focusing on yourself um a lot of things going on throughout march is really a time to bring all that love to yourself and you know cut out the middleman which is other people other situations other things um you can literally find everything you need by meditating going within asking yourself questions learning about who you are more self-discovery and it's not that you're doing nothing it's like that is doing something because that will give you inspired ideas on what your next step should be when it comes to career and love i'm just getting this is when it comes to your life but this is greatly building a beautiful nest for you and another to come together. I truly believe that nobody completes us, that we complete ourselves. And when that is the case, no matter who it is that you're in love with or have a crush on or like or whatever it is, no matter who it is, you don't need them in your life. You don't need to know what they are doing, what they are thinking, anything like that to be successful on your journey, to build your nest. You don't need anyone for that. You literally just need yourself. And what that also means by just need yourself is don't give your energy either to others who are taking it. When you're giving to yourself and you're building your own life, yes, naturally, people who people will want to help you because you are a, they are a reflection of you you are the universe so your outside situation is what is going on inside so if like you've got you know loved ones in your life and it's like good and they're like nice and they love you and whatever but it seems like at the end of the day they don't give you the support you need because you're like this isn't what i'm i i want a different reality i love these people but they're not really supporting me you know that kind of stuff the spirit is saying like cut out the middleman like you don't need them then you don't have to give them your time and with those kinds of epiphanies that's like oh literally and so you stop responding you stop giving them rides you stop doing all this stuff naturally you know use your best judgment use your intuition and um do what you think is right because if you know it's like 
really cold and it's like your sibling I'm literally just projecting my own experiences but you know and it's like they need a ride and it's like not that out of the it's like not in my path but you know it you know at times like do what you think is right but be clear about how you feel in the moment and other people will get the message and if they don't eventually like I see this building up to being able just saying no to people who ask for to from you anything whether it's words um whether that's like physical tangible help in some sort of way whether that's emotional support that they can't give you but you always give them anything like that this is like a clear message that if you focus on yourself you are going to attract the right people or this will reflect and the people in your life will step up and be more um, at your level when it comes to give and receive. But you don't need to ask it from them. You just need to demand from the universe, from yourself, like this is what my standards are. And then if people or situations don't meet those standards, and this isn't about like judgments or like wanting to use people or anything like that. But what I mean by standards is that like people give the same that you give, that it's equal, that nobody feels taken advantage, nobody feels unequal, nobody feels ignored, less than, greater than, anything, just straight up equal, whatever it is for your standards. It's like, demand the highest to the universe and take action with that. Don't just speak those words like, okay, I deserve better, but then you stay around um, situations that you don't like or you continue certain karmic cycles um, things like that. So I'm getting a, a clear message. Do things differently if you find yourself stuck in certain situations and keep doing what you're doing if you have already cut out those negative situations for yourself. Yeah. And then another message. Wow. Yep. And you will find everything you need right where you are. See, this is you, the queen of pentacles. You complete yourself and that naturally draws abundance to you. Nature, health, protection, guidance, um, everything you need from the universe. And when, if people who want to help show up and you can tell they truly just want to help, there's no catch, yes, <laughs> then say yes. <laughs> Yeah, these are love messages, but this is very also related to career, to your building your life. Another, yeah, king, and I'm getting this is actually the clovers. I'm trying to remember what the clover is. Oh, it's the wand. So this is actually the queen of wands, and that's still a passionate pursuit. This is the king of pentacles. So this is a very action-based energy is very interesting so it looks like you have a really strong solid balanced energy right now and as a love message this could be you and another individual who are actually mirroring quite well so I'm gonna where's the deck go there it is going to pull some Mystic Moon Oracles cards on these because I love this deck. All right. Clarifying. I think the Eight of Wands is pretty clear, but clarifying the Eight of Wands. We've got healing. Yep. This is like take spiritual action. I saw a card in here somewhere that called out this one. Uh, it's the Crossroads card. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and compromise as well as guide so you have reached when it comes to love the message you are getting listen to your spirit guides and choose yourself and move forward and take some sort of action by yourself you don't need um, anyone for this decision this is a crossroads. So I, I'm getting like this vision where you're like 
a kid, like it's your inner child and you reach this crossroads and you're like, um, and you recall like old lessons, which is like, oh, when you're lost, stay where you are. And when you don't know where to go, don't go anywhere. It's like, no, that's not actually the case. The truth is you have spirit guides nudging you in the right direction. You just need to move forward. You just need to take that action, um, that step. I'm going to clarify one more card with this compromise. It's this one. Ascending. Oh, and Twin Flame. <laughs> so this is definitely a love message regarding you and a person. This is what I've been getting with the Queen and the King, the Wands and the Pentacles. Um, and now we've got some flame here, Twin Flame energy. This is like... What is this compromise? Wow, we have the two of cups. So, obviously it's a compromise between you and another, um, but this can resonate in a lot of ways. There's either communication with you and this person and you are compromising by, or like maybe you're getting into communication. This seems to be a love message that you will be communicating with strong love connections or a strong love connection the like in general there seems to be some sort of commitment with this person so if you haven't met anyone like that um which i'm not really getting that energy but if that is the case or if you're like how do i attract this person how to manifest this person it's like you don't you already have you just move forward with your life and you keep healing and focusing on yourself this person i'm seeing will come to you and compromise as they ascend on their journey as well so you need to keep going you've already gone through a lot of ascend ascending and awakening and you are doing a lot of healing you're still doing a lot of healing um for your physical reality you are changing your own world, not by needing to go anywhere, but just by going within and healing and, and maybe doing some chakra meditation. I have really benefited from doing chakra meditation because you get to start with the root and work your way up and you really feel it and it helps activate your kundalini energy, which is very helpful for <laughs> many things. And so your way of compromising with this person is not needing to be concerned with what they are doing in the physical world and to trust that whatever happens happens for a reason and maybe you come together with this person specifically maybe you come together with a alternate version of them aka a different person we are all one here so truly you do not need to be with a specific person even if it's your twin flame my true belief is that we are all twin flames because we are all one i truly believe that is the case and if you feel you meet someone you're like no we're definitely twin flames like a gazillion percent but then you don't end up together then that would this is something phil good talked about uh that and this is just kind of you know his perspective his belief but this is what i've talked about a lot as well but that would basically be your parallel twin flame someone who is basically your twin flame but they made different choices or just even though your twin flames like it's not this lifetime or this timeline it's a different reality either it's a future life or a different reality currently you know it, or if it's someone we're like no we're definitely like we both it's mutual or we both have the same attraction but it's just not happening or something and it's like it is happening you are together but in a different alternate reality and whether that alternate reality and this one merges that depends on where if where they go and where you go maybe you go different ways maybe the crossroads come back together maybe they don't because after each crossroad there's an infinite amount of crossroads because these are like timelines so you can't force whoever it is even if it's your twin flame which i believe is everybody but even if it's your twin flame um that you've met you know where you're like oh that's my twin flame for sure you know even if it's them you can't control what they choose to do 
and again I don't think anyone needs anybody other than themselves to complete themselves so yes they're missing out on that reality in this timeline but they get to experience that in a different reality and I truly believe we're everyone we've met whether there's like um, conflict or not like unresolved unfinished business I believe we're all gonna come together by the end of our journey um, if there even is an end but I think everything is infinite so we have infinite realities infinite future line lives infinite past lives um, so we have all literally been together so you will be with this person one lifetime or another but I'm just seeing your compromise is choosing yourself oh my gosh so I lifted this up and I got soulmate it's like you know there's no losing here if you don't come together with this person you attract another person you attract people because you love yourself and you attract yourself you attract things to you people to you and it's not because you're forcing anyone it's like they want you if if there's not a balance there then whatever you attracted wasn't balanced and if it wasn't balanced then it's not going to be an equal give and receive and so that means you have more spiritual work to do and that will continue to be a process so it really is kind of impossible to attract like the perfect partner until you become the perfect partner for yourself and once that happens it won't matter if this person is here in the physical world or not they will be here they will manifest into your life just kind of like that when the time is right and everything but and you'll know because once you feel that way you won't need to hear from them you won't need for that but it will come up anyways it's like the cherry on top so that's reading number one I hope those messages resonate with you guys and that um, that these are positive messages. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. Okay, reading number two, the Rose Quartz and the Yellow Adventuring. I'm going to be using different decks for all three readings. I'm going to put this on the side. Okay. Your love messages. Six of Swords. I'm getting that your love message is that you are moving on. You're moving forward with your life. Ooh, I see. Ah, oh, Wheel of Fortune. And releasing yeah you're moving on from a lot of things you're letting go of fear you're letting go of anxiety you're letting go of worry and doubt um and you are feeling so light from this energy and literally i'm getting here whoa yeah literally all you need to do when it comes to love is get in alignment with yourself and if you're in alignment with yourself truly you're not wondering where is this person where is this thing where is this opportunity it's right here it's you you are the person you are the thing you are the place you are love you are home you are home you know when people say you are home you're like no i'm not i'm not home like this place isn't home you're like that's that's exactly true you're like yes this place isn't exactly home but you are home you know what i mean so it's like literally that you are home i hope that's making sense so yeah it's like what are you and that's what you are it's not where are you it's what are you and so as and then like if that doesn't make sense then that's because you're focusing on what's around you focus on what's inside of you you know what home feels like you know what you want and so f manifest that feeling inside of you it's hard because it's like how do we manifest that without the outside world that's what the spiritual work is for that's what letting go of fear doubt and worry is for that's what forgiveness is for true forgiveness and rainbow harmony says this all the time um forgiveness is not about like oh forgive and forget and like allow yourself to be treated a certain way or being around certain energies 
and like giving excuses for that person. No, forgiving, forgiveness means like you learn from the situation, you forgive everything and everyone involved, and you forgive so much that you decide that like there's no point in holding any sort of like negative attachment to the situation and to simply let it go and to, to and and to leave <laughs> to leave that situation as well that you don't have to forgiving doesn't mean that you have to keep giving the person or situation more tries more chances no you get you can just you can decide you can and i know like in the spiritual community especially and I, of course i feel this way that we don't want to react or hurt people of course but everybody reacts there are times where it's, it's our learning it ends up being part of your learning journey so if you if you are trying to speak your truth and the other person gets hurt one way or another you will learn from that you will learn from that because eventually you have conveyed your truth um so i'm just getting a message as well to speak your truth if necessary and if it's not necessary then keep stepping away and doing your own thing um and if you really are in the state of forgiveness and you've let go and they still reach out you will find the words to say you will find the truth to say you will not be afraid of hurting the other person's feelings. Because the truth is, it's worth it. Your integrity is worth it. And I'm just getting all of that is going to, it, you, er, the wheel is gonna be turning with this kind of energy. So I sort of formed a pyramid with all this. It's pretty cool. So. I'm basically getting there's a strong foundation here with forgiveness going within figuring this out once you do that it's about letting go of the fear of hurting the person choosing the peaceful route you can communicate peace but you've got to move on and move forward this doesn't mean you have to leave anyone behind if if doing this is just letting go of your own fears and and everything and everyone involved somehow comes with you great but it doesn't matter you're kind of like i'm going on this boat towards peace if you end up on this boat of peace and you also let leave behind all this stuff we're gonna both be at the same place like I'm going to home if you're going to home that means we're both going to the same place realistically wherever we end up will be where we're meant to end up at so and these are some messages from reading one but something I am a strong believer in is that you don't need anybody to complete you and no matter how attached, how much we grow to learn about someone or get to know somebody, you don't, they don't have to stay in your life forever, you know, like, they don't have to never let you down or, like, meet your standards. If they do let you down, if they don't meet your standards, you get to move on by choosing better for yourself. I think what will happen is you will just keep naturally attracting closer and closer to what it is that you know you deserve. And then you will get to a stage in your life where people don't let you down, where people do stick stick around. Um, yeah. And maybe it's someone from your past, this person you step away from, this person you're moving on from, these people, these situations. Maybe it's other people, maybe it's a mixture. Um, but at the end of the day, none of that matters because you you will be there. You will be at the place where you're not going to let yourself down. And if you never let yourself down, then the people who stay in your life and, and you stay in theirs, you're not going to let each other down. And when that doesn't mean we're perfect. Obviously, when challenges come up, we communicate and we we move forward and, and everything like that. But if it's like the communication isn't fixing the situation, which realistically, like you gotta find it from within. If like you from, if you personally feel like you're good and the other person feels like 
they are good or they don't if there's some if there's any sort of imbalance and conflict comes up and it goes one way or another it's basically like trust yourself with the decision you make so let's see what else comes up what is spirit's advice about this we've got the four of cups coming out We've got the Ten of Swords coming out. Yeah, this is saying something is truly over. And that is your golden opportunity. It really is. This is your opportunity. Wow. I don't know how this card is reversed out of all these other cards. But it is. There's a few that are actually reversed. Or like flipping, flipped the other way. So we've got the Three of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Moon. This And the Fool. It's like, you know things are over, but I feel like you also know that the connection is really strong. It's like, this is just what's necessary for your the sake of your journey right now. You aren't at the right place in your life for, for being involved in this connection. It's like, you've recognized your situation and maybe you don't know their the other person's whole situation but you've recognized that they're that you aren't going to make their life um work and they can't make your life work only you can make yourself work you are the only person who can motivate yourself and live your life and love yourself to, to like i'm not saying no one loves you like that's not what i meant um but i mean like you can only find love from within and you will feel it in the outside world that's just a given and I think you will have a fresh start with this person with these people you know I feel like it's whatever your intuition is telling you um, and sometimes it's like even then you don't really know but I think you've got some vibes like that there is going to be an opportunity where you come together someday in the future and that if not you will find the right opportunities for you where everything will make sense um yeah and four of wands is on the back this is the union coming together card so i think yeah i really feel that those are the messages for reading number two that person um, or people and none of these messages have to be romantic based if it is and it resonates that way totally fine um, I just want to suggest that if it is if like you're thinking if you have a romantic person in mind and it's resonating perhaps try to look at another perspective and see if this could be about friends or family members or uh, like co-workers people in your life that um, you know you need time to yourself and that and that it's and like that just you know that what you are asking for is not ridiculous it's not too much you're not even asking really for anything other than for what you know you deserve to experience in your reality and to feel about yourself so it's not about blaming anybody, it's just about how does this person's situation or thing or place make me feel and accepting that feeling and saying, I deserve a better feeling than this and, and choosing that and con continuously growing with that, your reality will change. Questions like, will this specific person, will that specific person, those won't matter as much anymore. They'll, those won't really even matter. Um, of course, everybody matters, um, and it's still okay to get, ah, the four of wands, it's still, like, if you want, like, to get a reading about a person in particular, like, you know, what's going on in the journey, where's the connection, thoughts and feelings for one another, stuff like that, um, of course, it's okay to, to, like, want to know, or, like, you know, the, there's someone in your mind that you, like, just like love and you don't feel it's imbalanced that uh, like I think if you're in separation from someone and 
and you love this person and they love you that it doesn't really matter what happens it doesn't really matter if they come back or not um and so i think there's no harm in getting a reading and and learning about what they might be going through what they might be thinking um where the energy might become like be at um but don't get too attached try not to get too attached to the outcome and getting too attached to oh the person's coming back then because they love me of course they love you but they gotta work on themselves just how you gotta work on yourself and the stars are literally aligning for you and this person and then <laughs> in the material world to come together and the, it's and it's not gonna come from forcing it or or knowing it like no one can validate that for you so if you're trying to get readings trying to learn 100 percent fact or, or fiction is this person coming back or not do they love me or not the answer is they love you the answer is they are already with you in spirit and in an alternate reality they are with you in the material world at some point or another um and it is impossible to know which timeline you end up in you create your own reality and so does that other person so if it's not them you will attract an alternate reality of them aka a different person i believe if this is a twin flame connection um my belief is that we are all twin flames and i have i've been a little apprehensive about it because a lot of people will mention that there's just one true true twin flame but i got very um i built up the confidence and courage to talk more about this because i was listening to a video from someone named phil good and he's super cool and he basically talks about like also thinking that we're all twin flames so and, and talking about alternate realities and parallel twin flames basically and so that gave me the courage to speak up more about this so there you have it that's reading number two Hope those resonate. I'm sending so much love and light, and I hope you guys enjoyed these messages. Uh, a little bit of a sneak peek. Uh, tomorrow's pick a card or Monday's pick a card reading, um, whenever I do the next one, uh, is going to be messages from spirit when it comes to career. But yeah, that's all. Okay, peace out. <gasps> all right, reading number three. I already know. I want to use this deck as well. And like usually I don't use this deck because personally it's like pretty dark for me. Um, but like this is like a, a classic Rainbow Harmony deck, the Wildwood Tarot. And she recently got this um, the Wild Unknown Tarot that was gifted to her. So may as well use both of these decks. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with reading number three, the blue gold stone and the green adventuring. All right, your love messages from spirit, from your spirit guides. Wow, a very clear message came out. It's the page of arrows, which is the wren, ah, oh, and the sun. I'm getting, it is time for you to soar. It is time for you. <sighs> to explore your, the, the vibration of universal love. I'm strongly feeling guided to mention doing some um, chakra meditation will be really beneficial for you. Uh, you can do, you can search up heart chakra guided meditation. You can just search up chakras guided meditation um and i feel this will be very powerful for you at this time for finding love from within i'm getting this is very crucial for you at this time the seven of vessels mourning yeah it's like it's time to get out of this energy of loss it's time to to not question your decisions or question the past or wonder what could have been or what will be all these questions of where are my soul family where is stuff in the outside world it's like that served its purpose now is the time to 
let that all go and just realize whatever it is in the outside world, this current reality clearly isn't it then. <laughs> and so find that inside of yourself and you will shift your reality. It is as simple as that. That is the love message. You are aligning with the timeline you deserve. <laughs> the Three of Cups. And it keeps hitting these decks over here, like my cards, they keep going this way. So the Three of Cups, the Three of Vessels, this is the card of joy. Um, and this is the Ancestor, the Hierophant, which is a card of being true to yourself. And this seems to be like powerful, deep-rooted, strong connections when it comes to certain individuals. So I'm getting, at this point, old energy of frustration or sorrow is in your path to feeling these other to seeing these manifestations in the physical world or for being fully connected with your soul family um loved ones but this is the energy that is clearing that's like you're you're in a transitional period i'm getting that you're feeling a mixture of both of these energies you're seeing that as you release these more difficult energies and ease into your path and keep on meditating and going within and loving yourself in your own experience you are literally seeing the transition you are literally seeing your 3d reality shift and it might take shorter time it might take more time depending on the lessons you learned the connections you've made um, from your spiritual journey and if you're still wondering what am i missing here why do i feel this lack how can i find from within how do i find this powerful sun positive energy how do i find this energy of unconditional love from within it's like ask yourself then do guided meditations like it's kind of like figure it out for yourself it's like try it it's like have you meditated every day have you searched up positive energy videos or have you surrounded yourself with a bunch of videos that have to do with a lot of outside circumstances have you and like there's nothing wrong with gaining information about things going on around you totally fine but i'm getting like if it's starting to frustrate you or bring sorrow or confusion if it's not giving you clarity then it's like then you will reach this blockage until you let go of all that and sort of decide like, okay, let's surround myself with energy that's about literally just gaining knowledge. Not knowledge for how to get somewhere or something or someone, but just gaining knowledge for how do I find this in myself? How do I love like myself and my journey regardless of what I'm seeing, regardless of who's in my life? And when you find that you are all that you need, you will be willing to let go and give up everything that's in your life. There's a loved one who's not treating you well, you're going to be willing to let go. You will have the courage and strength to manifest a way out of there. If you're at a place that doesn't serve you and you know it and you've known it for decades, you've known it for months however long it is that you've known it for, then you will manifest a way out, but not by needing to get out of there, but by no longer needing to feel attached to it in any way. No longer feeling that that is going to define your alone time of how you feel when you're by yourself. Yeah. So those are the messages I'm getting with that deck. This is the moving on card, stepping away the eight of cups. This is like, I'm definitely getting, this is like the, the situation, outside stuff, it's not matching up with what you know you deserve. The hanged man. So we get time of pause, but I'm getting this as like, I'm really looking at the bat, that it's your, it is you going right now, you're undergoing like a trans, a transformation. It's like you're in a cocoon and you don't need to break out. Um, it's kind of like a fruit. Um, like a fruit, if it's not 
ready yet like depending on the fruit it'll be like really hard or like you know not at all like juicy and and like the fruit that it is but when you when it, it gives its own time it'll work or so if you're in a cocoon and the cocoon is starting up and you're start and you're just and you're in it developing you won't have the strength to break the cocoon you won't but if you let the cocoon nurture you if you let it build as you grow and build and heal and, and love yourself you're in there because you're like yeah i love this i love being in my own cocoon in my own self that doesn't mean closing up that doesn't mean feeling isolated it's the opposite it just means feeling like you are embracing yourself that you are your own mother father and child you are your own feminine and masculine energy you are the child within you are you so this is like you need to develop yourself and learn who you are and once you have developed that you will be strong enough to spread those wings and soar and go anywhere you wherever you've been wanting to go as the wren as this curious little baby bird you'll be able to fly in the winter in the summer during blizzard well maybe not a blizzard exactly but maybe you know you never know how much you're gonna level up the sun yes this is a po this time of pause is a positive thing pause is positive <laughs> and here's the son of cups why because that gives you the time to find yourself when you find yourself you find your love you find you and then that manifests the love of your life if that's what you're if, if that's what you want in your reality three of pentacles it, it's got to start from you when you go within and you connect with nature the universe and and work on yourself this creates such a strong foundation this is a foundation that cannot be broken down when you are solid, when you are whole, you're, you are a mountain. You are unmovable. Not in the sense of, like, I'm stuck in this reality. No, you're, you get to stay grounded and allow your reality to change and come to you. You're like, I don't need to do, I'm not getting knocked down, basically. We all get knocked down. There's always difficult situations and stuff definitely feel your feelings and everything this isn't about blocking anything out but this is just about you'll know you'll know when you're solid you'll know when you feel balanced and whole because it feels positive it feels really good and it's not because you're around people it's not because you're at a specific place um it is because of the spiritual work that you put into everything it is because of the physical action you've taken due to loving yourself there's the eight of cups again yeah and the world and the two of wands oh no that's this is the daughter of swords but i, I really thought that was the world card for some reason so i'm just gonna straight up look for the world card um ah oh, i saw the two of cups and if i don't see it that's okay and there it is it's right by the top of this deck um, and it's next to the five of pentacles. So I, I really am thinking, um, if you guys feel guided to, you can check out, um, Rainbow Harmony's, uh, where are you at on your healing journey? Some, there might be a message in there for you. I won't say like which one to pick or whatever, but it did have this card, I will say. So if you end up seeing that reading, um, I think those messages were really strong, but what I'm getting here is like, yep, you're ending cycles with these energies that don't serve you and there is no doubt or fear or worry about if this is going to manifest things you'll feel it's manifested and things will come to you in the present literally um because you will feel that way you will feel because you can probably think of certain things in the future that are just inevitable maybe you plan on moving maybe you plan on um there's a promotion coming away or something that you know is coming your way or you know you're traveling somewhere the the book the flight is booked you know or whatever it's called um there are things you know are coming your way in the future so try not to get so caught up in 
like, how am I going to make it there? Except for, yes, how are you going to make it there? How do you enjoy the present? How do you just love where you're at right now? So that once you get to that place, that the time in between felt amazing. And it's not going to be amazing all the time. There's going to be good days and bad days. But it's manifesting. And so this should hopefully be a helpful message that... Um, ah, there was a message from this person I started following on Instagram. And he was talking about that there's a rose or something um, that or something that it continues to blossom and blossom even as it's withering it continues to grow up until it finally officially is over and dies and then the petals just fall you know and even though when that happens once again you reborn you a new flower comes up a new life so this is about knowing that whatever has been lost it's okay you don't need it back you don't you can keep you can like blossom again you are reborn um when you are ready when you are fully you know you are now reborn in like a cocoon so make the most of this cocoon i'm just seeing like your perception your perspective during this time is crucial your thoughts your feelings, the energy, what you do, the action you take, it matters. Are you taking action in the outside world trying to find validation or friendships to make you feel good? I'm seeing that might result in friend, uh, in uh, frustration. Um, or are you trying to, to learn and, and find this positive energy from yourself? then you're still going to need to balance um, light and dark with that energy too. We're just getting in all of this. This is all transforming into bringing both of this, all of this together. But to bring it together, I'm getting, you really got to keep growing. You got to keep nurturing yourself, nurture your soul. So those are your love messages from spirit. Um, kind of kept going on some tangents there or in some circles that was my bad um but i'm sending so much love and light and i hope those all resonate with you guys if not totally fine just take what resonates leave what doesn't and i will talk to you all later peace out